Continuing coverage tonight about an early morning fire on Wealthy Street in Grand Rapids. That building is now considered to be a total loss. Our Lauren Edwards reports. The demolition is done for today, but I have to show you over to my right because clearly this is the back wall of that building. And as you can see, hundreds of blocks, cinder block, wood, uh, the charred wood, even glass. We found glass on the ground here. And I also want to point out that I believe that all of this is on uh, behind a building on the backyard, behind a school building and a playground. And, you know, it's hard to put into words all that we see here because, you know, the building that was over on Wealthy has been around for years. As soon as I walked out of the house, uh, we smelt the smoke and walked down wealthy. We could see the smoke and smell it. This is what Benjamin Wilkes saw when he left his home around 530 Monday morning. Toward the back here, you could see the flames that were just putting out. There were three uh, ladder trucks there. The Grand Rapids Fire Department says they got a call at 127 a.m. about a fire at a business on Wealthy and Henry Streets. Well, it was a big brick building and the, the windows are all, you know, boarded up, uh, but apparently it was a book binding operation inside. I, I never really knew, but we walked by here all the time. It was called Tatum Bookbinding, and according to its website, it had been, quote, binding hardcover books for over 100 years. Resident Carrie Baldwin, who's also a part of the Historic Preservation Commission, says she couldn't believe what happened. It's very sad. Yeah, the, um, I mean, it, this is a historic district, and anytime you lose a building, it's, it's really tragic. The fire department says they arrived three minutes after getting that call and noticed a fire on the first floor, and it was fast moving. There appears to have been a lot of material that was stored within the commercial building that uh, contributed to the, the movement uh, of this fire. And uh, based on the observations of the fire crews there, Lieutenant William Smith says there was no one inside the building and no one was injured. However, they don't know if the cause is arson. The investigator uh, reading the, through the narratives and talking with personnel has asked for additional uh, resources, including the Grand Rapids Fire or Police Department Detective Unit. After the fire was put out, the building was demolished. Crews were on scene for several hours, tearing it down while Wealthy Street was blocked off. The building unsafe to leave standing in its fire damaged condition. And so we just can't uh, put our citizens at risk in allowing a building to stand. Uh, however unfortunate that is to lose a historical building, um, we have to preserve uh, you know, our citizen safety. It's hard to put into words all that you see here, all of this debris, all of the, the bricks and the cinder blocks, as you can see. And, you know, police and investigators and the fire department, they're all asking that if anyone has any information to please reach out to them or the silent observer ask for us. We're going to continue to stay on this case and we will give you guys updates as we get them. Reporting here in Grand Rapids, Lauren Edwards, Fox 17 News.